So Andrew Ruiz has officially declined a offer to face Derek Chisora, according to Eddie Hearn. He rejected two offers, both times wanted more money. And Eddie Hearn says he believes the next fight for Andrew Ruiz will be is against Luis Ortiz. That's what he was feeling from the PBC. And I, I don't doubt his words because that's a fight that they've been looking to make for a minute now. Derek Chisora, a lot of people were, gonna, were giving him zero chance uh, to be Andrew Ruiz. I, I didn't get why, to be honest. Andrew Ruiz, he throws punches and combinations like 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two, or left, left hook, right hook. Not real an uppercut puncher. And uh, Derek Chisora, usually, that's the shot that gets him is the uppercut. I know he got decked going in against uh, Dylan White by left hook. But more times than not, it's the uppercut that gets him. And I think that Derek Chisora would have had a, a good shot against Andrew Ruiz. Chris Ariola, who I don't think is on the level of Derek Chisora, I, I would view Chris Ariola as being a fighter in the top 50 of the heavyweight division and Derek Chisora being in the top 20. And he managed to have lots of success against Andrew Ruiz. Even dropped him and was hurting him in the first or four rounds. And I think that Andrew Ruiz, I mean, excuse me, Derek Chisora, could have a better performance than Chris Ariola. Because especially over here in America, uh, everyone extremely doubts Derek Chisora just looking at his record. They fail to look uh, why does he have this record? Now, I'm, I'm just going to do a quick search on box work. Derek Del Boy Chisora. And let's see what it says real quick. Let's look at his resume. Let's look at his resume. Derek Chisora is coming off a three-fight losing streak, okay? In his last fight against Joseph Parker, my opinion, got dominated. I got had Parker winning 115-111, 115-110, 11, something like that. The fight before that against Joseph Parker, officially he lost that fight. Almost unanimously, everyone thought he, he won that fight. I did not see one person thinking Parker won that fight. I had Chisora win that fight, 115-112. I thought he won the first six rounds. He dro dropped Joseph Parker in round one. I took round seven. Against Usyk, several people watching it live had a draw. Or a slight Chisora victory or a slight Usyk victory. Watching it live, I thought Chisora won that fight. Rewatching it, I said Usyk won that fight. But it was a close fight. So those are his last three losses. Some people would like to argue he was 1-1-1 one, one, and one in those fights. Against two. And all three fights was against unified heavyweight champions. And before that, he was on a three-fight winning streak against uh, Serbia's Senad Gashi. Nakov Archer spoke on two rounds, and Nakov David Price in four rounds. Before that, he got knocked out by Dylan White while he was up on the cards. And then before that, he had a knockout victory over Carlos Takeham. So it's not like he's a horrible fighter, like people are saying. He had two split decision losses, one to Dylan White, one to Kubrat Pulov. Both fights could have went either way. It's not like Derek Chisora is a horrible fighter. He has his victories. He's knocked out Carlos Takam. He's knocked out Arthur Spilka. He's knocked out David Price. I thought he clearly beat Joseph Parker. So you just say those names, you would think this guy is a good fighter. I thought he beat Dylan White the first time. And a lot of people did too. So American fans like to make out like Derek Chisora is a nobody. Uh, to any MMA fans watching this video or guys that watch MMA and boxing... The closest comparison to Derek Chisora is Jorge Masvidal. He might not be an A-class fighter, but he can compete with most A-class fighters. And I would not be shocked whatsoever if Derek Chisora goes in there and beats Andrew Ruiz. I wouldn't be shocked to the slightest. And now that's the, I don't want this video to be too long. I just want to give my thoughts on what's happening on the Derek Chisora versus Andrew Ruiz fight. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. 
and Sleepbox Inc. out.